What is up, everybody? Happy Thursday. My name is Matt. I'm the Awakening Angler. I got something special for you today. But first, I want to make the official announcement. Uh, Walleye Fest tickets tickets are now live on sale on the website. I'll have the link, uh, the website link in the comments below. It's www.walleyefest.com. Go there, you'll click on the Derby Tickets uh, tab and it will take you right to our, our site. I started doing a soft open the last two days, um, sending some stuff out and, and people responding and going and buying some tickets. So there are some tickets already been sold. I'm, I'm, I'm pleased and proud to say that, that the optional leaderboards are going very well and people are getting into them. And, and, I, and I know everyone's going to enjoy it. But let's put a pin in that because I got something special for you today. I was invited to come out to Carpenter's Brook Fish Hatchery in Elbridge, New York and go stock trout today. I don't know where we're going. I'm not sure what the whole thing is about, but I'm about to find out and you're going with me. Stay tuned. Keep your tip up. So you look at some of them, like these guys here are out of Paint Bank, Virginia. And then these guys are from our state hatchery in Randolph. So a little bit smaller, but they're a couple months younger than these guys. So, so why why do we get eggs from other states? Like keep that gene pool fresh. Uh, back in the late 80s, 85, 86, the Fed stepped in. Uh, there was hundreds of hatcheries around New York State. If you really think about it, like every town had a hatchery. And they weren't keeping track of everything. For oh, really? Of, for all those years. Everybody's like, oh my God, we'll get a hatchery. Tom and Manly. There's, there's I remember one in the Georgia. one that's out the sea, like we used to deer hunt down there. 100%. Yeah. So there was tons of them. So nobody's keeping track of, of, of that gene pool. So they're just mixing a second cousin with a third cousin. And they're like, oh, I got a, a male rainbow and a female rainbow let's just put them together and we'll, we'll hatch the egg so that interbreeding in fish acts the same way as anything else 100%, and you could have 100 you could have you defects. could have mutant you'd have some mutations and stuff like that but the biggest one that you can't see is that hiccup in that gene code and that's where the fish became susceptible to do a different disease you're like well why am i not getting that growth potential that i normally get out of these fish uh and and, and why is that? Why, why am I? Why are they susceptible to this disease? Why whirling disease popped up? Remember in the '90s, you're like, oh, I've been whirling disease. We're, we're like, it's been around for a million years. Right. Why all of a sudden are these fish susceptible to it? They're like, oh, maybe because that is a hiccup in a gene code that and they were susceptible. Cousin, second cousin, that type of thing. No kidding. I just wanted to show you. These guys all came out of the same hatch, so they're all out of the same batch of eggs, all hatched at the same time, just a little over a year old and look at how the difference in size is. some of it could be genetic some of it could be yeah. habituated in the hatchery he was he, she was first in line at the at the feed bin at the every, feeder, every yep. day Right in the water. There you go. Oh yeah. Brook trout's range was basically just to the northeast. Now that fish would never make it in the wild, but look at it right here in the hatchery. So 
he had a bone deformity. Huh. But look, he still figured out how to eat. Yeah. You know, he's still with his fat oh, brothers yeah. and sisters. But, he, but in the wild, he'd been dead. He would have been eaten a year ago. Go ahead. What is up, everybody? Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I had a tremendous amount of fun. I learned so much from my buddy, Eric. If you have any way of supporting the fish hatchery at Carpenter's Brook, it has been an institution in Onondaga County in Central New York since 1933, I believe Eric told me it was built after the Depression during the CCC Corp days. Uh, the amount of information that was bestowed upon me, Eric is the superintendent of the facility, and, and, and then to get down to where we stock those fish today, we put a thousand brook trout in a pond that's on state property. And it, the whole process from start to finish, I've never done it. I've never volunteered. It's just that. It's volunteer. And if you want to go out and help stock trout, uh, they still are gonna got a couple weeks, I believe, left um, of stocking, especially if the water stays high like this. You can call out to the hatchery here at Carpenter's Brook. I'll put the number in the in the uh, description below and you can talk to Eric and say hey I'd like to volunteer they absolutely are looking for help <clears throat> there are only three employees at Carpenter's Brook Fish Hatchery they turn out 70,000 trout it's a year-round facility um, and three people do it three people so today if I wasn't with Eric he would have he would have stocked those thousand trout by himself um, so they are always, always, always looking for volunteers. If it's something you wanna bring your kid with you, you wanna bring the wife, you wanna just come by yourself or a couple of your buddies, call, volunteer, do something to give back to what we all, I grew up in Beeville, I grew up fishing Nine Mile, um, Butternut, Chittenango, even though Chittenango's outside of the county line, we have really some excellent trout fishing opportunities in central New York that are not possible without what the people at, Hatch at Carpenter's Brook Fish Hatchery do. <clears throat> so if you wanna say to yourself, how can I do something that's gonna be beneficial to the whole sportsman's community in central New York in your own backyard, call Carpenter's Brook, volunteer to go help stock trout and I guarantee you, if you're anything like me and you love fishing in the outdoors, just seeing all those beautiful trout just made me happy. And to be able to, to, to do something and help out in some way, I'll be coming back, I think, next week um, to help them again because they need help. They need help, and volunteers are critical to these kind of situations. And if I can help get the word out a little bit to the people that follow me and say, Go do something and you can really be a part of something. Spend a morning or an afternoon helping stock trout. You won't regret it. It was fantastic. Thank you, Eric. Thank you to your staff. Uh, everybody was wonderful and I enjoyed myself thoroughly. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. And remember, Walleye Fest tickets are on sale now. The link to the website will be in the, in the description. That's www.walleyefest.com. Thanks. Have a great Thursday. I will talk to you tomorrow. Keep your tip up.